Hi there folks, my name's Chris. Welcome back to another gear video on the Renf Tactical Gear channel. Today I'm going to be doing something that I can happily say is a review, not an overview, because I've got the Milspec Monkey Boss Beaver pack here. Now, I've spent quite a lot of time with it, so as I say, I'm going to call this a review, not an overview. Now to start with, I was sent this by Milspec Monkey, so if you think people who get given free gear and stuff to do videos on, like, don't say anything honest about it, then feel free to close it. Uh, close the video now that, that that's fine um, for the rest of you still watching congrats uh, I'm going to be giving you some some honest feedback uh, uh, and just my thoughts on the pack and, and running through a few of the features now I'm going to set I'm going to call this a review because I took this with me to Afghanistan um, I did a just a little short little tour out there I was uh, working working on some helicopters and it did a couple of different jobs for me while I was out there to start off with it was it was our um, barrel bag for uh, when we were fitting the machine guns to the aircraft every morning, taking them off every evening for putting back into the armory. We're fitting uh, GPMGs for you in the US, the M240. Each machine gun comes with a spare barrel. It's obviously got the barrel that's fitted. And for those of you who are familiar with the, with the gun, it's got a quick detached barrel, much better than the M60 because it's actually got the ha carrying handle attached to the barrel. So yeah, we're taking our guns out. It's got the barrel fitted and you've got a spare barrel when you've got a few people quite a few guns to carry um, basically we, we had more guns to carry than we had free hands uh, between us on the armament load team so what i did was i had this i would open up the main compartment stash the barrels in and what i was actually doing was using these compression straps and then to really cinch down those barrels i was crossing them both over like so i know it looks a bit squished up but that really narrowed that opening down and when you've got a load of thin items that you stacked up in there it kept them vertical and kept them secure so i could have i had a machine gun in each arm that i was carrying and then I'd, I'd fill this up with anywhere from uh anywhere from like three to six spare barrels clip them up throw that on my back and walk out with the guns then i could put the guns into the aircraft have the like chuck it off my back onto the cabs and then proceed to, to do my work from there the other use i had for it after a little while i i switched i had an issue backpack that i'd taken with me an mtp one i started using that for the barrels also because what i was doing was i was the the aircraft cabs inside they're basically fitted with like a grip tape along all the um the bp the ballistic paneling it's basically ceramic armor that just is bolted into the whole floor of the cab and and part way up the sides and it's really rough stuff um, and I was chucking this bag onto it and, and dragging it off every day and my colleagues were as well obviously. What did start to happen after about probably six weeks, two months of doing this at least twice a day, um, the, the nice space of mesh you've got on the back here did start to, start to bobble up just a little bit. You can see that area where it's just a bit bobbly. Um, there was like a tiniest little visible bit of wear on the, the underside of the bag after scrape like it, it was like scraping it on sandpaper that's the best analogy i can get um so yeah after a couple of months of doing that a couple of times a day it was getting a little bit of wear on it so i swapped this into my go bag basically because i was on the downed aircraft recovery team so this became that bag i had set in my room next to my body armor next to my loaded rifle magazines etc etc and this had spare clothes, uh, food, water, admin kit, um, wash kit, you know, everything all stashed and different, arranged really nicely in all the different pockets. And I didn't, I didn't end up using it for that. Luckily, no helicopters crashed, but I did have it there. And it was certainly, certainly a nice piece of kit to have there ready for that purpose. And it, as I set it up, as I put everything inside it, it became clear that it was very useful for that sort of usage. So construction wise, it's a 500D Cordura. Obviously this is the multicam. You can see how well everything's matched. You got matched webbing, you got matched Velcro loop, and pretty much everything's fucking multicam, um, but it comes in loads of different colors. Originally when I first got it, I had one of these, uh, one of these, cause these are made by Tactical Taylor. So we'll start from the front pals on the front you know what that does small organizational pocket in here i'll mention one one bad thing i found about this where where these webbing straps end they're tucked inside this pouch and and they're obviously melted and when you shove your hand inside there the ends of them are proper sharp they're like little razor blades sticking 
all inside this pouch and if you shove your hand down on the ins right against right against the very inside edges i'm just trying to grab something quick it it proper fucking stings to be honest it's like as long as you uh, once you know about it you just don't do it but the first time i did that i was like oh fuck, you know it took me by surprise small you know i'm obviously i'm just making sure you know we've got full disclosure though here not the end of the world so yeah just a plain pocket there no admin options inside of it then you got probably one of my favorite things in any pack this this as you can see fully zips open and this is amazing for organization pens multi-tools pistol mags torches med kit tablets phones gps you fucking name it it like stores it all up in there really really nicely with all these little divided sections food you know purifying tabs what the hell ever and then it's just when, when you put the bag on the ground straight in front of you just zip that open and boom there's all your little bits and pieces just amazingly handy now the reason it's called a boss beaver is because it's a beaver tail pack this section is separate like so and then you get into it just with these two clips just like that and this this is so so useful now i've talked before about some other uh, other packs from tactical taylor that have certain pouches that you can flip i've got one here actually this is a gray ghost and when you're wearing it you can just flip it around your front and there's this zip here that allows you to get into a pouch and this is insanely useful because you can literally just flip it you don't have to take the whole damn thing off to get at stuff so stuff you're going to need to get at you put in this pouch on the millspec monkey with this beaver tail it not only has it got that just behind it which we're going to do in a second it's this beaver tail section that can expand massively is even more useful because if you look at you can literally expand that out to fit a freaking motorcycle helmet something that size into this and yet when you don't need it there's six straps they've got g-hooks and buckles one inch buckles and you can strap strap it down to, so it's barely even there you've got a real tough mesh material your tactical helmets uh roll mats layering uh you know garments just stuff it all in there fold it cinch it right away when you don't need it but when you do it expands out massively it, it's like adding a whole extra backpack it's it, it's it's honestly superb like i i'd never had a pack with this before and as soon as i tried it i was using it in work actually every day before i deployed um just as my everyday bag and it was just so useful on a day-to-day -day basis I, I really can't emphasize it enough so a yeah, great feature you've got straps here the excess is um wrapped up with velcro one wrap so you can just loop that up and then when it takes a minute it it can be a little it feels a little bit tedious sometimes expanding it out if you do need to carry something large for a way because you have to undo each strap roll it to the place you want it cinch it back up again adjust it out and then do that six times but it's it, it does only to be honest take like 90 seconds it just it feels a bit of a nause but it's not as bad as it seems and for the versatility of having that i'd much rather have it than not have it inside it there's also i forgot to mention actually there's a load of loop just in there it's completely lined with loop so all those hook backed accessories holsters pouches you name it they'll all go in there you got color match loop section there for patches you got powers on the sides which you're probably going to want to put water bottles on uh because that's you know on most city backpacks that's where the water bottle pouches go then there's that pocket i mentioned just on the sides here this is also full of loop you got a double zipper so you can open it either way and it's ambidextrous so you can get in from both sides so whichever if you flick off that shoulder strap and spin it around you or you know that one and spin it around here it both ways work which is a big plus because on those other tack tailor packs there's only one strap you can flick off and spin it around one side and if you do the wrong one then you're like ah oh, shit there's no zip and you can't get in it this is a lot nicer the main compartment we'll bring it a little closer now you've got an organizer pouch here just mesh with zip for small things a stash pocket down on the inside here just to keep things neat on the main side this doesn't fit my laptop but for up to a 15 inch laptop you've got a padded case here and then like a body armor style strap you can go over it cinch it down 
nice and secure but for smaller tablets and stuff you can bring it all the way down like so right inside i'm not gonna be able to show you but there is water bottle pockets on the left and on the right just to stop things moving about too much inside and as i mentioned you've got compression straps on the sides which can be removed a lot of the hardware on here if you notice these buckles and all the uh all the buckles you see on this pack that have that same style to them, they're removable. So you can you can ditch a lot of stuff or rebuild it up however you want. On the top, webbing grab handle, routing points for your comms cables and your hydration pouch, both sides. Oh, so much fucking shit on this pack. I tell you, I regret starting this video now. Two inch webbing straps for your main shoulder pads. They're padded with the spacer mesh. You've got webbing, elastic webbing. So that's molly compatible, so you can put a small pouch like a radio on there. The sternum strap is fully adjustable, slides all the way up. It's a lot easier when it's on, and then <laughs> you can slide it right down like so. Polymer D-ring. You can go from a two to a one strap mode by literally just unclipping that. You clip this side on to the other strap. That strap tucks away inside the hydration compartment and boom you've got like a messenger bag type of thing really comfortable with all this space and mesh the padding on the straps really well reinforced if you want to look at that stitching there you can see how how strong and how well built this is that's tactical tailor that's what you get underneath more pals um great for lashing Obviously, obvious one for under here is going to be your roll mat. There's your last two adjustment straps for the beaver tail. There is a hanger inside the hydration pouch. I think basically the idea is if you had, instead of rooting through and then cinching with Velcro, you, you'd literally just pop this through the um, little top hanger you get on a source bladder and then sort of through horizontally tilt it and then it'll hang onto it. Which is a little bit of a different way to usual, but it, it should work. I didn't actually use this with hydration. What I did while I was deployed, when I did actually have to, to take this off base, a, bit, a little bit of a, a minor ex, uh, excursion we had to take out into uh, into the surrounds, um, the sort of outskirts of Kabul. Uh, I stuffed the hydration into the beaver tail. Uh, and that meant that when you're wearing this with armor, it just sit that bit flatter because you haven't got the hydration bladder bulging out the back of it when it's when it's up the front here like that but you can still obviously feed your hydration tube over your shoulder as if to prove a point why i don't massively love g-hooks you see how what that one's done problem with them is when they don't have tension they just fucking flop out of place and undo themselves they're fine once you've got tension on them but i, I kind of wish they'd done buckles all the way around they just they're just more secure and i think that's about everything i think i've managed to get through everything there's a lot on this pack i go for about 200 dollars on the mil spec monkey store but they come in coyote range green black multicam and there's like an urban option which is black with gray webbing and, and red paracord pulls on all the zips i think there'll there are quite a lot of civilian packs out there that actually have pals on them now so that it actually kind of works in the past i would have said anything with pals on it like no you don't wear that out in public um but now i think that, that maybe changed a little bit so yeah i think compared to say i was on the lbt site just earlier they do a three-day assault pack nowhere near the features this house uh 250 bucks so 200 tactical tailor quality i'd say it's at least on par maybe better um so yeah lo lower price more stuff on this one i've done what i always do i've been through every fucking stitch on the pack that i can possibly see and it's really well done everything that needs to be reinforced and bar tacked is everything straight stitched really straight and neat and true the way it should be it's made in america which is always nice and yeah i i honestly i really love it couple of little niggles um the only other one i can think of is is a little bit on the heavy side having all these pouches all these features straps and buckles and blah 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 when you pick it up you think oh there's there's something in it there's like i've left a, a book in it or something and there isn't but if you if you add features and add durability you also add weight 
it's just a sliding scale. You can't really avoid it. This just happens to be on that slightly heavier end of the scale. But when you've got to organize lots and lots of little bits of kit, it's an absolute godsend. Having that versatility with the beaver tail is massive. I really cannot overstate that. And yeah, and overall, I'm a big fan of it. I'll put a link in the description below to check it out on the Nuspect Monkey store. If you want to see more gear videos, check out what I've done on the channel. Feel free to subscribe. This is the sort of videos I generally do. Any more gear related stuff, social media links are of course in the description. Thanks again for watching guys and I'll see you next time.